Hello and welcome to another Warframe video. In this one, we're going to take a look at Baruch Prime. I'm going to show you how to build his frame, how to build his exalted desert wind. I'm also going to show you how to build a static for him. So let's get started. So taking a look at the build, combat discipline in the aura slot to lose health on kill. This is going to combine well with Arcane Avenger that gives you 45% crit chance on getting damaged. So this is going to help us build the crits even more. But I'm sure for it, for knockdown resistance, you can use Handspring if you don't have this one yet. Transient Fortitude and Blind Rage for strength. We're going to be using Fleeting Expertise and transient fortitude to negate as much duration as we can for his second ability which puts the enemies to sleep and reduces the resistance on Baruch you'll be easily able to trigger or have more time for serene storm I'm using stretch because I've subsumed airburst from Zephyr basically going to help us group up the enemies really easily rolling guard for status lens and invincibility for three seconds equilibrium is going to help us maintain energy as well as health this is my personal preference that I'm using uh, it is totally up to you what you want to use you can use prime flow instead of this one you can use adaptation it is totally up to you but i prefer to use equilibrium vitality is there for survivability as well so we don't have a small pool of health that i have to worry about again a personal preference you can use prime flow adaptation anything that you want instead of this one it is totally up to you reactive storm is going to be the major dps here basically it gives status chance plus it changes the damage type to enemy's weakness like depending on the faction it will change the status of the damage this is going to help us in dealing a lot of damage to the enemies i can strike in the arcane slot so we can have 60 percent attack speed it helps a lot to have more speed never enough speed on brute so again this is a personal preference you can use arcane blessing if you don't want to use vitality and go for arcane blessing it is totally up to you what baruch's 4 basically does is also gives us damage as well as it gives us damage reduction as well that's the reason i'm not using adaptation on this but again if you want you can use adaptation it is totally up to you so that's the baruch prime Thank you. So taking a look at his Desert Wind Prime, that is Exalted. Sacrificial set for critical chance mostly. Berserker Fury for attack speed on kill. It gives you up to 70% attack speed. This is going to be helping the Arcane Strike as well. Critical damage, attack speed, but Gladiator mods also help us give critical chance per combo multiplier. So that is also the reason I'm using it. And I'm going for Corrosive, mostly for Acolytes, because if you're using this as Steel Path, it's going to help with Acolytes a lot. So that's the Exalted build. So taking a look at the statistic build, stance does not matter as always, we're just using this statistic to get combo multiplier as fast as possible to 12x. Gladiator set to get 30% critical chance on combo multiplier, Prime Fury and Quickening for attack speed. I'm not using Berserker Fury because we're not going to be dealing damage with this weapon, it's just there for getting our combo up as fast as possible. Drifting Contact I put in for 10 seconds on combo duration, that is the only reason it's there. If you feel like you want to put in any other more it is totally up to you but as i said baruch's exalted is what is going to be dealing the most damage so putting any elements or anything else any damage mods on this one is basically going to be useless so that is the statistic build. we're going to be using narrowmon for the power fuel because power spike which basically depletes five stacks of combo from the combo multiplier rather than just completely depleting and we have to start it again so that's the reason we're using narrowmon
So that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. Be sure to leave a like, share with your friends, comment if you have any questions, subscribe for more Warframe content. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Summer.